Right, so I've just sealed over the whole frame with PVA, which is basically white glue or wood glue. And I've gone over all of the polystyrene. I need to turn this over and do the other sides of it. PVA dries clear, so you can see some white on the black tape at the moment. When it's dry, it will be clear and you won't be able to see it. So basically that's to seal the frame before we fiberglass on it, because otherwise the polyester resin will eat straight through the polystyrene. So um, I just need to turn that over, do the other side, and then we can put some fiberglass mat down. So the next stage is to put fiberglass over the frame. <clears throat> I've got woven rovings here, which as you can see is a woven mat. And that means the strands run all the way from one end to the other, instead of like chop stranded mat where you have lots of short strands. So this is gonna be much cleaner. It means I can sort of stretch it around the frame and uh, basically the strands don't fall out of it. It shapes up pretty well as well. And I've got some string to tie on, which is yellow so I can see it. So this is a metre wide, the plan is to cut that into um, basically three thirds. So I've got uh, basically pieces just over 30 centimetres wide and the roll is 10 metres long. So the boat is only two and a half metres long. So that means I can cut um, strips the whole length of a boat and put the fiberglass mat on in one piece. And when I've done that, then I'll just go over it with a paintbrush and wet it through with resin. So the next thing is to cut this up and start wrapping it around the frame. Just halfway through cutting that strip up um, into three smaller strips. So that's a, just over a metre. I just need to keep going until I've got two and a half metres. So there's the first piece that I've tied on. I'm trying to get this as smooth as possible so it's a nice square section. Obviously I've got the rest to do and I need to do the whole frame. So I'm going to continue with that. Um, basically until all of the uh, lengthways structure at least covered. Okay, so I've wrapped the keel of the boat and these two pieces on each side. I've also put some uh, mat on these bits, which I've actually stapled on, which hasn't worked too badly, even though I didn't think the staples would really stay in the polystyrene. So basically I've done all of the um, cross braces and the three long struts of the boat. The plan is to basically make those rigid with resin then I shall come back to do the other two each side once I've cut off the grey board which is keeping it square because at the point that the other three struts and all the um, cross struts are rigid then it should hold itself square then I can properly wrap the bottom ones and I can probably cut the formers out as well so next plan is to take it out into the shed and get some polyester resin on it Okay, it's in, so I've got just enough space to work on it, just fits in the peak of the roof. So we get some polyester resin out. Right, so I have general purpose polyester resin. This one is not the low cost economy one, it is Lloyd's approved, which basically means it's marine grade and it has a manufacturer guarantee. So that's the catalyst. And basically I've got a mixing tray, I've got my respirator, which is very important, and also some disposable gloves. And behind me is the boat. So the basic plan is to just basically go and brush the resin into all of the fiberglass woven rovings that we wrapped around it. 
probably start with these nice smooth outsides and I'll um, work on the middle once it's rigid and I'm going to work at the top because ultimately resin will run down um, I've got everything covered in plastic and I've got a box to stand on which is also covered in plastic so let's mix up some resin and we'll get going with applying it So there we go, I've uh, soaked resin into all of the glass fibre all over the entire frame. Um, there's still gaps obviously between some of the fibre where it's bulging there, where I've tied it and the polystyrene, but it doesn't really matter because the polystyrene is just a former so as long as the fibre sets up rigid then the whole thing should be basically a rigid box section. Some places it's stuck down, some places it hasn't but it doesn't really matter. So we need to come back in a few hours when the resin's gone off and hopefully that'll be completely rigid. Then we can uh, cut out the grey board on the back and we can wrap the remaining two uh, lengthways struts on each side of the boat and also these pieces here and then eventually we can cut out this and this and continue to wrap the middle of what's left of it and we should have a totally rigid frame. So my polyester resin has gone off. All these pieces are rigid now. They're not quite as rigid as I expected. So I've got the test piece that we did in part one here, which, um, you know, really is very rigid. Obviously that's chopped stranded mat that's high density and it soaks up more resin. The woven rovings in some places, there's still holes through the weave and there is quite a bit of flex in this although due to the box sections the whole frame feels quite rigid so I'm going to continue as planned for now. It might have been better off using a combination mat that has chopped stranded mat on one side and woven rovings on the other um, then that would have soaked up the resin and the woven rovings would still have held it in place. Also on the inside I haven't put any resin at all yet so this is still fabric and I will do that when I actually come to reinforce the skin on the inside. So for now the frame's rigid enough to skin it up and the skin's going to add a lot of rigidity. So the plan is to remove the grey board that's holding it square along the back now that I've done the struts and continue to wrap the two remaining lengthways struts and also these pieces. Then I can cut out the middle and then I can reinforce it. So let's get that grey board out and we'll continue to wrap the frame up. Yep, the bits of this frame that are covered are extremely rigid. So, um, looks like the plan's not too bad so far. So, got my woven rovings pre-cut and we're gonna get on with the wrapping. Right, that's most of that wrapped. So now it's time for some fiberglassing. So I didn't bother to film brushing more resin on, but I have uh, resined up the two big vertical struts and also along here and uh, all of these pieces. So this is now incredibly rigid. Um, the next thing is to cut out the supports and I was going to wrap those, but basically I've already got fiberglass on the edges and along the bottom. 
So actually it's probably going to hold rigid and I may well deal with the insides when I come to put the skin on and then reinforce the inside with fiberglass. Also the back panel where um, potentially an outboard will be, I need to decide whether to do fiberglass on there or a bit of wood covered with fiberglass so it's strong enough to support anything clamped onto it. So for now I'm just going to leave that. Um, but yeah, basically I'll cut the middle out and then it'll be time to put the skin on. And there we have it. So it looks quite boat shaped. Um, I think that's still incredibly rigid. I'm just going to tip this up in a moment and we'll give it a squeeze. There's a few bits I need to trim along here for instance. Which are a bit nasty and sharp and the odd spiky bit that's poking out here and there which need trimming off. But uh, this feels incredibly rigid. Let me tip this up and we'll give it a squeeze. So, let's see. Yep, yeah, that's pretty rigid. It's at least rigid, to get, uh, rigid enough to get the skin on, which will of course make it even more rigid. And I'm gonna be doing that by covering it with some fleece fabric, which will be stretched over it. And then basically going and uh, putting resin all over it and then backing up the inside with fiberglass, at which point I'll also deal with covering these bits. Um, and so on and then we'll have a boat which hopefully should float so that concludes the video for this part